did y'all just see what I think I saw in this tiny creek that runs through town? You guys, under all these bridges, goes underneath the road from over there to over here. I'm pretty sure I saw a coosa bass in there along with a bunch of other fish. Now I'm getting my, well, I'm, I'm getting a truck worked on for my uncle over here, which I'm got to get another vehicle worked on here pretty soon. And I saw this little creek. I've known this creek kind of goes through here. I didn't know it had this much water in it. So I parked right here at the mechanic shop. I got to I try to catch a coosa bass right in the middle of the town that I live in. It's Tyler Creek. Most of it's underground. Like I've, I've driven over it a million times and I've always seen it. I didn't know it have it could have a coosa bass in it, way up in it. So I'm gonna try and catch a fish. All right, I feel a little weird leaving my vehicle right there, but I'm gonna try to do this quick. It's a little windy too, so hopefully this audio is good. But what I had with the start of this, I walked right over here to look at the stream and I saw little chubs immediately. I think I think I saw a coosa bass in here. Then I went and looked in another spot. And I was just kind of looking in there. Oh, 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 getting hit from little fish. This, I'm using a little Bobby Garland. This may be a little big for these chubs that are in there, but if there's a sunfish or a little bass, they'll have no trouble eating that. So the thing is, it's, I'm, I'm up high and it's real clear. And uh, I see all kinds of little fish swimming around. They might be seeing me real easy too. So there's like this little ledge over here that I was looking down in. Hope this concrete don't fall. Try to go through this tree. I'm gonna drop my lure down right where I'm at, right here. Oh, I got, dude, I got a fish. I got a good fish. <gasps> no way. Oh, <laughs> are you serious? Look at this. Look at that. I, I couldn't even see down in there. My rod just went down. We have ourselves. It looks like a really, looks pure. I don't know if it is or not, because they're not native to this creek. I didn't even know they were in this part of this creek, like at all. This is like a, this is like a little branch of a branch of a stream. I have to see if this thing has a name. Look, and it's healthy. Look at the belly on it in this little bit of water down there with all those car parts and random stuff that's in there that was too fun that was way too easy on the first cast i thought this was going to be a struggle it's like two foot deep right there there's a lot of water in there and that little hole that i caught that was right look at all that trash it was right i just dropped my line right there he's probably sitting right under that all this like matted stuff and was just waiting on something to come in there man look at this jungle that's in this ditch all the stuff's growing in this ditch here that's old old concrete i wonder, I wonder when this was built but these fish are thriving <laughs> let's get back to let's see what else we can get i just want to see what somebody says if they see me if they drive by and see me carrying this fishing pole right in the middle of town see some chubs down there but down over there there's a little bend that I'm pretty sure I saw some <clears throat> that was the fish we started off looking at I think there was some sunfish Looks like that might be a little deep hole. Oh, I had a bite from something. Just toss it right off the edge before I walk up right up into it. Oh. oh. I'm getting a lot of bites out there. I don't know what they are. Look at all that. Look at those old brick wall over there. Okay, so there's quite a bit of water here. But right up here, there's a deep hole. This is where I saw those fish I'm trying to come up behind them. I 
Oh, I got the tree. Oh man, stop blowing. Right there. Oh yeah, come on. Oh, I saw something hit it. I should have ate it, I think. Fish on, fish on. Yeah. Oh my, it's a good one, it's a good one. No way. <laughs> Look at that, oh my goodness, a good coos bass. That is a big end, that's what you find out in the bigger rivers. Wow. Dude, that thing's in, I mean, there must be a foot of water at the most. Little ditch, it's just, look around, look around. Yet, in the middle of all this, there's like this, all these trees where the bugs fall in, and there's fish like this in there. These Kusa bass thrive in small waters so well. It must be why they're, I mean, I must be why they're doing good. This, these are good sized ones. Those are full grown, like old fish. Like that's, that fish is probably, I don't even know, several years old. Let's try to get him back in there without hurting him too much. But there's so much um, little chubs and I thought I saw some sunfish. Um, there's just so many fish in there. Oh, come on, let's get a few more. I wanna get something else now. Oh, that's two Kusa bass. First two fish caught. I did not think it would go this easy. I just thought it'd be something I'd try and see what happens. Right. I think you can see all those, all those little fish right there. Look at all this growth going in there. Oh, here, uh, Something crawling around down there. Sounds like a snake. I think he was just slithering through the weeds over there. Well, I can't get here. We gotta, I'm gonna have to drive to the next spot. Oh, look at that blue heron coming in down here. Ha! He's landing down there in the creek down there. just passed it and this creek goes underground for a long ways comes out over there on a bridge I just saw let's make a loop around here oh there's a nice little deep hole it's right by this old pond place we're going to go in here oh right, we might catch a couple more fish I have fished here before uh, but check this out for uh, sketchy urban place everybody in my town will know where this area is but that creek feeds it dumps water into this pond but it runs outside there so i don't i i, I didn't know that was the same little creek i couldn't believe that there's fish in it like that so let's see what's in this pond uh, people put fish in here sometimes i've caught some bass out of here but it's been a long time and right now i think it's covered in whatever this stuff is Let's go a little bit bigger and then we may have to go get other lures. Got it. <laughs> I watched this fish eat it. The water is crystal clear. It was right below the surface. There was a bigger bass coming to look at it, and there's a bunch this size in here. A little large mouth. The large rock can live everywhere. But, all right, there's one. Oh yeah. That guy came out of the moss and just hit it. <laughs> nice. What do these guys eat in here? This pond is uh, like all concrete. <clears throat> But there's a lot of fish in there. There's got water flowing in. I want to go over here. We might catch something over here where the water's flowing in. So you got, oh, there's a big bluegill. We got constant water coming in all the time. 
Oh, 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 eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh, I got a bunch of them looking at it. Oh, I got something. There were several of them looking at it. Little bass. There's so much uh, vegetation in here. Like that's gotta be good for a lot, a lot of food. I saw something down in there. There should be some like something feeding right here, you'd think, with this water kind of sitting here with the water coming in. Something. A little bass. Man, I want one of them sunfish. I've seen some monsters. This guy's been caught before. Oh, there he is. Oh my goodness. There's just this. Oh my goodness. That thing is so. I don't want that one. Did I get him? I got. I got this bluegill. I'm watching him. He's all, do I have him? Oh, I got him, okay. Well, check this guy out. That is cool. Get off there. Holy cow, look at that. Dude, the one that I saw was twice the size of this. He was right in there. He was, look how fat this guy is and how big he is. That one was twice that size. Look, oh my, look how big, dude, see this, twice that size. I want to catch, is he still down there? Oh, I see him down there, I see him down here. That's why I was fishing around the edge of this thing where they can't see me. That right there is crazy. Gotta get up on this wall. Oh, 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 what I got? Oh, another bluegill. This is the edge of it. That, see, there's the creek down there. Oh, that's where it's overflowing. So it pumps water and overflows right there. Just a little pipe going out. So this, this uh, pond here is basically has fresh water pumped through it continually. No wonder these things can get so crazy big. And this has a tiny mouth. One this with the mouth this size is usually a third of this. Oh, I gotta get one of the big ones. That is crazy. I can't believe I'm catching anything really the way they, I feel they must have so much food in there. Oh yeah. I saw a little, oh, it came out. A little bass. All right, let's go back over here where those bluegill were. Is there more of them?
Uh, I gotta walk out here. I don't want Got something good. Oh, it's a little bit bigger one. We are getting a couple of these bluegill. It's a little bit bigger. It's still not even close to the three big ones I saw in here. But that is a nice bluegill. Look at that beefcake. All right. I'll keep, it looks like this is the hot spot over here for the sunfish some reason. There's, oh, I thought that was a bluegill, a little bass. There's a ton of these guys. Oh, I see a big one, I see one of those big sunfish. Oh my goodness, that thing is so big. Let's see. I gotta see if I can get a video of this. Yeah, you can see it without the polarized glasses. That big blob. That's a sunfish. And it's just super thick. Look at that. And the creek's gone under that building. I didn't really think about it, but I guess creeks that go to town have to go under a lot of buildings and structures. Um, but it's crazy to see how these fish are like living in these like one or two little deep holes and they're thriving, like they're doing great. And then there's this pond over here that's, I don't even know, it's so random. It's got somebody's put some bluegill in there and they are just monstrous. They're just giant, they're eating very well. Um, if somebody put them in there big, they wouldn't stay fat if they weren't, you know, feeding. But they are, those things are thick as bluegills ever seen. So thanks for watching. A little exploration, random video. Um, just never know where fish are going to be. I mean, basically if there's water, there's, there's a good chance there's something living in it. No matter if it's us, you know, no matter what size it is, but getting those Coosa bass out of that, that, this, this little Creek, that was, that was really cool. Uh, just to be able to get those fish because they're kind of rare anyways. And, but they. Look like they're doing so well there so i guess that's it i'm gonna wrap it up for today oh yeah oh my goodness oh now that's a good looking ditch to fish Hey, what's up everybody? I'm back in Oklahoma. This is my third time being out here since I've been doing my fishing channel. And the first time I came out here, I fished this ditch right here and caught a ton of fish out of it. I came back last year, that was two years ago. Last year I came back and it was cold and I caught a few, I didn't do a video. Well, I'm back, it's really windy, but we're gonna fish it again. And it's right beside, the uh, only reason I found this place is right beside um, where my family that I'm visiting out here, my sister's family, right beside the church they go to. And I stopped and fished it. Um, I'm really interested to see what's going on in there. And um, I'm hoping it's still loaded with fish. I don't know, there, there could be anything. But I'm gonna get a couple of little fishing poles out, get some lures out, and we gotta deal with the wind. But um, it's gonna be interesting to see what we find. Work my way down here to the deeper end, see if we see anything moving. Oh, oh, had a bite. There's one. Fish on. Oh, yes. A crappie. Dude, look at that crappie. A little ditch on the side of the road. A little, that's a white crappie, too, I think. Nice. Oh, my goodness. Dude, that was the biggest snake I ever saw. It was brown, dark brown. All I saw was the tail of it. 
it, the body had to be that big around. Holy cow, that was scary, because I, <laughs> I wish it would pop up and I'd see it. I just saw the back of it, that was so thick. Wow, all right, stakes are out. All right, a little ditch right here. Oh, oh yeah, oh, another crappie. Nice. I didn't really think crappie would be in here. Uh, that one, I can't tell if it's the same or not. I think that's a black crappie though. I don't know, two crappie. Another one! Holy cow! Is there four of them already? Alright, there's gotta be some fish loaded up down here. If I can get my lure to sink slowly with the wind blowing it. I'm afraid to get close to this water now. Oh, what we got? Oh, nice. That's a solid bluegill. I've been getting a lot of pecks. I think there's a lot of other bluegill in here. I'm gonna have to downsize my lure. All right, we're downsizing. I got 148 ounce jig heads, double of them on the little itty bits. And uh, there's, I'm getting a lot of little pecks. So let's see if, uh, see if I can start catching some of these little fish. Oh, there's one. Oh, okay. Oh, maybe they're tiny crappie. Maybe that's what it is. I keep getting hits from stuff. And I saw them like hitting it really fast. Look, man, this place is loaded with crappie. Oh. There's a little ditch opening tunnel in the middle of the highway. I don't know if I'm supposed to be on the middle of the highway or not, but uh, I think I might catch something with these little itty bits. Yeah, just drop it down this little hole right here. There's gotta be something down, some some kind of fish hanging out right there. What do you think? Oh yeah! I got, oh. There's one. <laughs> little bluegill is down there. Oh! Well. There you go, you can catch fish anywhere. There's one. Another crappie. They're, they're must be all up and down this ditch area. Just all kinds of little fish. But I better get out of here for somebody comes by and runs me off. Let's move back over to the other side where I was. Fish. Oh yeah, there's gonna be a ton of little bluegill probably. I wonder how many fish are in these kind of areas. There's gonna be thousands and thousands of fish. Oh, where we go? What is that? Oh, a little nicer one. Good bluegill. Oh, oh, dude, that was a good fish. He came back. He came back. Oh, what do I got? Oh, yes. Oh, man, it's a good fish. 
Holy cow! No way! Look at that bass! Dude, that's a good bass. I, I, uh, I, I was throwing, uh, you know, a bunch of little lures, trying to catch stuff, and I was like, man, I hadn't got a bass, and I was kind of didn't think I would get any. I switched to a little, uh, little three-inch swim bait. Boom! Switched to a three-inch swim bait. Look at the fish out there. That's a, I think it's a pound and a half, probably 14 inches long. Super good quality largemouth. Out of this ditch, side of the road. People, fish are everywhere. I switched to this uh, swim bait, something a little bit bigger, and it's a uh, black and orange. And I was like, well, if there's a bass, it might get their attention. I had a little hit, I threw, and then I threw over there, had a hit, it came off, and then he came right back and hit it. All right, I, might, I was getting ready to head back. I might have to actually really fish this for a little bit. Oh, got it. I had a little hit, kept pecking at it. What did I catch? Oh, a tiny little bass. <laughs> oh, that was a good hit. Dude, did you see the wave on that one? That was a really good swipe. It looked like a good fish, it just didn't. He just got the back of the swim bait. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. That guy smoked it. I don't know if that's the same one I just missed or not. Come on, get out of there. Get out of there. Good bass. Oh man. Come on, come on. I don't want to get too close. Nice. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, check out that. That is such a good quality bass. He was way up in this area. It's shallow up there. Man, check that one out. That is at least a pound and a half, maybe a little more. Just a, a, a thick, healthy bass. Dude, I'm using that little, uh, this is a little, the Long John minnow. And um, I don't, I mean, I think it's just a little bit bigger lure, just a little bit bigger profile making these bass go for it. Making me think I should be using even a bigger lure. Wow, that's awesome. Anytime I can do some ditch fishing like this, catch multi-species and a couple of good chunky largemouth, I'll take that. Two hours, messing around, just hitting it up and it all it all started from just one time when i was like let me just see what's in there you know there's a pond there's ponds over there there's ponds over there there's lakes around but i like fishing these kind of little areas because it's funny all these little fish that get up in there and they're usually not pressured or they get up in there and hide and you just never know what you're going to come across so there was a big old snake i don't know what that was there was a muskrat swimming around in one area man it's a great time i always encourage people to get out and explore try out little places and um, what was funny was the little lures, you know, they were catching some fish, but I had to upsize to get those bass. And I tried a little bit bigger lure at the end. I didn't get any more. I'm sure there's a few more bass in this. There's grass and moss all over there. They're, they're probably in there hiding in there somewhere. So if I have more time, I might fish it later. But thanks for watching. I'm glad I got back and fished this ditch and uh, it was a great time. It's amazing where you can find some fish. There's really cool fish all over the place. Just like right here in the ditch between the parking lot and the main highway. Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to my roadside uh, aquarium. Fish aquarium, fish tank, roadside fish tank, something on the side of the road. I am going to, I, I, got a, I went and bought the aquarium and um, I, went, I put some rocks in it earlier, then I got it all dirty. Poured the water out, refilled it with water. I got water right out of the stream right here. And I got a couple cameras on it. And uh, there's several people that do the uh, photo booth thing. They take the fish and put them in a little booth. And I love seeing fish. Of course, I love going to aquariums like most people. 
Um, so I'm going to bring aquarium to the side of the road where I can fill it up. I'm just going to catch whatever I can catch out of this ditch. Uh, just goes, I'm in a parking lot, so should be fine. And there's just going to be cars going up and down. Got a ditch over here. It, uh, it's a little bitty ditch. It runs into a bigger creek. So there should be several fish up in it. Uh, I'm going to get a little ultralight rod, catch some fish. We're going to put them in this fish tank. All right, I got a ultralight rod, two pound line, a little Bobby Garland itty bit. And I got a bunch of these little deep holes. I can't remember which ones. Oh, I see some fish in there. Oh, they already saw me. I saw some fish. It's hard to sneak up to these things. They're so, so tiny. I think if I throw it off the edge here without stand, stepping over, I might get something. Oh, 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 yes, yes, yes. Fish number one. Oh, yes, just what we needed. This is the fish that I was hoping to find. It's a little kusa bass in about three inches of water. Let's put him in the fish tank. I wanted to park down here, but it's kind of right where the people drop through. But there's a nice, nicer little hole right over here. We might be able to get a few fish out of. I get a good cast in there. Should be no problem. Oh, I had a hit and missed it. Oh, I got another one. Different fish came back. No problem getting one, but I'm tangled on a piece of wire. Got him loose. Let's get him back in there. Fish number two is another colorful fish. A red breast sunfish. Going in the tank. We got a red breast. And we got Mr. Kusabas. Those colors are showing up pretty good. That's nice. All right, get back to fishing. All right, I'm gonna put some water in this bucket. That way when I go down to that other hole, if I catch a few fish, I can hold on to them and then bring them back. First, we gotta cast up in that ditch right there. Oh yes, there's another one. There's another one. Let's go ahead and throw him in the bucket. Yeah, some little stuff. Huh? Yeah, some little fish. Some little fish? Yeah. yeah. I didn't know it. This is another red breast. Nope. It may be a little bit of a hybrid, but let's stick that in there. Got three fish in the tank. Let's go down to these other holes down here. This little ditch, it always has water in it. It's a tiny little stream, but I guess it's a spring that comes through. Probably got rerouted from whenever they put the parking lot in a long time ago. I've also seen it over the sidewalk, how high it gets. So it's crazy how these fish come and, come and go probably, swim way up in there and just some of them want to stay. Oh yeah, you gotta love everybody staring at you. I'm kind of starting to get used to that. Especially when I do something like this on the side of the road. I got everybody drive by, I was like, what is going on? Oh, I missed one. It hit so fast. All right, I see some fish in there. This hole's got some. Yes. That's a nice little bass. Yeah. Oh, check out that Kusa bass. That's a good one. We'll stick it in the bucket and then we'll go check them out later on. Oh, there's no, there's another one. It's a little guy. What is it? Oh, it's another Kusa bass. Wow. There's, I can't believe there's this many of them living up in here. Let's get them in the bucket. Oh, look at that little muskrat right there. Little baby muskrat. Got it, got something. Are you serious? Another Kusa bass. I can't believe there's this many of them up there, but Kusa bass, they inhabit areas where like largemouth or spots or smallmouth won't go. There, uh, there's no smallmouth in this stream, but there is 
Large mouth. Oh yeah. Another Kusa bass. Well, I'm throwing him back. I want something different. I can't believe I've caught this many. They're hammering it. Got it. There it is. A new species. Green sunfish. All right, let's take them back to the truck. All right, here comes some new friends. Take a look what we all we have in the tank. That's that big piece of bass just caught. We got it. I think that was the first red breast. And there's the green sunfish. No, that's not the green sunfish. That's a red breast also. A couple kusa bass. Where's the green sunfish? Oh, he's back there. There's the green sunfish. We just add it in. Probably not the noise you expect to see or hear not the noise you expect to hear when looking at fish in an aquarium it's just so cool to see everywhere fish live and these are pretty cool little fish too like that kusa bass right there is like an eight inch kusa bass i love the spots on those things they look really cool in the water <laughs> i've got so many crazy looks and a couple people were, uh, a couple people like asked me what i was doing or like if i was catching fish uh, I'm gonna explore a little more. These are some really cool fish to catch, especially like right here. So I'm gonna go upstream just a little ways, and then maybe back downstream just see if I can catch something different. And um, I've, I know that there's all kinds of turtles. I saw a muskrat. Uh, I saw a rat over there. It was kind of running around beside that restaurant. <laughs> I saw the earth just a second ago. It ran across the parking lot. So there's a lot of life that's, uh, these little canals are like nothing. You don't even notice they're there, but they're just a highway for all kinds of life. So let's go do a little more exploring. Oh, there's a bunch of little fish down there. Oh! Oh, that was cool. That was a little bass. He grabbed it, but he didn't take it all the way. Oh, I got him that time. That's a tiny kusa bass. All right. So I got to get some water in my bucket. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I see a, I see a couple bass up there. That's a nice looking kusa bass. Can I get a cast without spooking him? I have to go down here and sneak up. Sneak up on him and try to get a long cast. I can't believe that bass is way up there. All right, we'll come up the grass. Oh, he went up in that tunnel. Man. All right, I haven't spooked anything off yet. There's some fish up there. Oh, they nibbled at it. Oh, they bit at it. Get up there. Oh, I broke my line. Well, that's a two pound line for you. I'm gonna retie and I think I can catch a couple fish out of there. Got that one, I think. There's a several bass right there. Yep, they're all kusa bass. That's cool about kusa bass. They go up and live in some places where nothing else, no other bass you would think lives. Some more of them in there. Oh, well, I was too far cast. Yeah, there. I get him. I got another one. What do I have here? We got a red dressed. Ain't got a bluegill yet. I haven't seen any bluegill. Little red breast. There's a bunch of shiners. Surprised I haven't got one of those to bite yet. Oh, oh, eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh, yes. I watched this fish eat it. Nice red breast. Look at that. I watched him come out and just suck it. Oh, broke my line again. Come here. Ah! Oh, he's peeing on me. Here, there's, there's, uh, oh, there's one, two little kusa bass. 
There's a little red breast. There's a little red breast. There's all kinds of shiners. Tons of shiners. Oh, oh I see him. Oh, I spooked it. Oh, 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 I thought he was coming back for it. I spooked it. I cast it right on top of this bass. And he turned around like he was coming back, gonna come back and eat it. There's several that are up in that tunnel. Whoa! I skipped it. Oh, well, it might be perfect. I don't want that one, I want that bigger one. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Yes, you. I'm watching them. Not you. <laughs> it's so cool. There's so many fish up in there. Oh, everything looks good in here. I got the air tank on. Let's add our new species. Or not new species, but new specimens. Oh, the tank's getting a little full. Oh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make one last run. I'm not gonna take the bucket. I wanna go downstream really quickly and uh, see if there's any deeper hole. I've never been really far down there because not too far down, it goes under the road and goes to a creek. So um, there might be another deep hole that I missed though. Yep, there's another one. <laughs> that is another Kusa bass. I can't believe this. Ah, came on. A little bass. Oh wow! Oh my! Did you see that hit? That thing hammered it. That was a little coosa bass in just inches of water. Came up and smoked it. He's waiting on a bug or something to fall in. Well, I really can't find any other deeper pools to even cast in. Oh, there's a lot of rat. Second rat I've seen. Oh, right there's a little pool. Uh, there's gotta be something in there if I can get a cast in there. I got one. I got a little fish that's stuck on the weeds. There. Of course, Kusa bass. Kind of thought there might be more uh, green sunfish in here. Oh, I got to go off with this as soon as I hit the water. Man, I wish I was. I wish I wasn't so far away from my truck. I don't want to walk all the way up back up there now, but there's the first creek chub. I thought I'd catch a few of those. There's a lot of them in there, but most of them are real small. No, so, there's a creek chub for us. Oh my goodness trash 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 because that's where all this trash comes from the roadsides so much trash blows out of people's cars and it's all over the place off the road that's that's really where most of the trash comes from that, that are in creeks and stuff or streams it just comes from the roads ah gummit so many limbs here i can't even get a cast in all righty that's enough of that It amazes me every time I do something like this. Every time I go to one of these little small streams, kind of like these unexpected areas you don't really think about, and and just start exploring. I spent an hour here max, and I don't know, I caught, I don't even know, 10 or more fish at least, and just these cool little bass, got red breast, um, you know. I didn't, I surprised we didn't see any bluegill. We only got one green sunfish, only one creek chub, which is kind of strange. Um, you know, maybe largemouth come in here sometimes. I didn't, I only saw one turtle. Usually there's a bunch of turtles. I saw a muskrat down there. I saw two rats. Probably if, if you were to take one of these sections over here, like the, just like a 10 by 10 little section out of one of these, di out, of the, out of this ditch area from the, 
like the rocks and leaves, there'd be like a remarkable amount of different life that lives in these areas. Well, I guess I need to end this video. Awesome time out here. I'm hoping to try to do this kind of thing more often. Go out here, just go to a place and catch a bunch of little fish, put them in a tank and kind of get a good look at them. So I'm gonna end this video out. We're gonna look at these fish uh, up close before I put them back in the ditch where they came from. One of these days I might put together a fish tank and actually keep it, but that means I have to clean it and stuff. But I, I like to travel a lot, and that's the reason I don't have a, a dog or a fish tank, because it's like I, I want to be able to leave for 10 days and not have to worry about anything and, uh, you know, stuff like that. So let's take one last look. These fish are so pretty. I hate to let them go back in there. But, and even in this little ditch here, it's real shallow going through. If they want to get through that, they can go right through that. And as soon as it rains one time, it's going to raise four or five feet. So they got a, they got lots of options, even though it looks like just a little bit of water. All right. Oh, look, some more. It's crazy how they know to go upstream or downstream. Like even when, you, when as soon as you put them back in there. Look at these little guys. That's what they do. They sit in the back of the pool a lot of times. So there we go. Back in their home. Alright, I got some new friends. Well, I'm actually in Missouri. I'm driving through. Um, I'll probably explain some a little bit at the end if I hadn't already explained it in an earlier video. But um, during the COVID-19, uh, Missouri really encourages people getting out and fishing. And actually, for non-resident and residents, they've uh, they put a, a hold, I guess, on having to buy a license. So for a few, for like two weeks here, you don't even have to have a license to fish. If I read that right, and I think I did. I've never fished in Missouri, not a, never caught a fish out of Missouri. Uh, I'm not gonna fish here long, but there's these ditches that go through all this farmland. This is this awesome farmland going through this area here. Um, and this one's got quite a bit of flowing water going into it. And I'm like, well, let me just stop here. I, I wanted to fish a couple hours this afternoon. It actually got kind of cold, it's like 50 degrees out. But um, I, think, I think maybe some, if there's some fish in there, I think they should be active. So I'm gonna give it a few casts. I'd like to get my first Missouri fish today. All right, I just walked up here, cast in, and I saw a fish jump up out of the water. So I know there's some, there's something in there. It may be a good catfish spot right here. I don't, I don't really know how deep it is, but these, uh, this water's flowing, but it goes to all these farmlands where it probably picks up a lot of silt, especially as the farmers are plowing up the fields right now. Oh, I just saw some fish in my way. We definitely know there's fish in here. I really would like to get a bass out of here, but then I'll probably just try to get whatever I can get. Bunch of minnows right there. Oh yeah, this is, this is gonna be some fish. There's a fish. Dude, yes! It's a, wow! Nice, that's a spotted bass. A chunky spotted bass. Oh, I should have had my camera still on, my other camera. Boom. <laughs> How cool is that? Missouri, thank you very much. Look at that little guy. Dude, this, this little place looks really cool. I don't, I mean, there's a, there's a couple footprints down here, but I don't know if people, if it's like a spot where people come and fish. There's like, I saw a lot of these as I was driving through. Look at that little dude, chunky. He's like really green looking. Oh, something just jumped out there. I'm trying to take a picture here. 
All right, gotta get some pics for the gram. Boom, first fish already. Let me see if my timer is. Four minutes. Like, and I was walking around up there mostly. All right, let's throw him back in there. This could be really good. Or I could be like the only one, but let's see if we can catch a bunch more. Oh yeah, there we go. Another bass, I think, yep. Oh, another spotted bass. These guys are so chunky sitting in here. This one right here is up there where the first one was. Just feeding probably. That, I mean, I'm sure someone's fished this ditch or fished ditches like this before, but there's probably no telling what could really be in here. Like anything could live in a spot like this. It, I, I imagine it's eight, 10 feet deep. And uh, I'm just catching a couple of them around here and no telling what could really be living in these spots. That's what I love these spots, especially something on the side of the road, right by this big old farms, just kind of out in the middle of nowhere, it seems like. There he is. Yeah, got that one. All right, number four. Another spotted bass. Just, these guys are chunky little fish. Let's try to get down a little closer to put him in. Mm. This little minute seems to be getting in bass, that's for sure. Just working it slow. Let's uh, just keep working that area. There's one. Oh, he grabbed the tail. I tried to use uh, several other lures, and I can't believe I didn't get any bites off them. So, there he is. Good fish. Man, they are stacked up under that spot. Hold on. Oh man, that's the biggest one of the day. That's a nice fish. I don't think that's the first one I caught. It's it's in the same spot. Oh, it's, it's in the same. But there you go, buddy. All right, well, I'm getting bites fishing it like this. I let it drift, drift into that current kind of there, right on the edge. Just looking to eat something right there. Hot stuff flowing through here. Farmers are, oh, what? They, I thought they were, uh, Tilling it up. They might still be tilling it up. Some big old tractors over there. Big old fields over there. Those fields are huge. Pretty cool. Oh, that's good fish. Yeah. Oh, man. It's all over the place. What is that? Oh, another bass. Nice bass. This little spillway spot is loaded. Oh, that's a good fish. He was on the right side. Finally got it in there. That's a nice little fish there. A little bit smaller than that last one, but solid fish. Okay, yeah, man, these these are a little spotted bass. I haven't seen any big ones yet, but these little guys are just nice little chunks of fish. Oh, 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 yeah, another good one. Oh, this might be the biggest one. Hold on there. Hold on there, man, that guy is digging. Nice bass. Oh, this this may be the fattest one. Dude, this thing is fat. Come on, oh wow. Whoa! <laughs> oh man. Oh my goodness, look at that. Got 
got this. Oh, we wasn't even hooked in there. That tough. He was in the top of the mouth there. Chunky little bass right there. That's a cool fish. That's the biggest one for sure. Farmer's waving at me. All right, let's get a picture. I'll get the tractor in the background. All right, that is a cool fish. Let's weigh that guy. Goodness. That bass weighs 1.3 pounds. 1.3 pounds, just so fat. Here in uh, South Missouri, don't even know really where I'm at. I'm driving through, I'm, I guess, hour or so out of Kentucky. I know I go to these kind of places all the time. But I really am blown away by how many sometimes, sometimes I go places that I don't catch anything. But I go to places all the time and I just catch a lot of fish because they're in there. And a lot of times just get overlooked or you know, it's not easy access places. A lot of times, no, not a lot of people live around this area, which I'm not far from some of the big rivers where people go fishing, but a little, uh, that's a white crappie I think too. So that's how I'm gonna get out of here. I don't know how much longer, I'm only gonna fish a little bit longer, but it's already been a really good time. Oh, got him. Oh, got another crappie. Ooh, that's a good one. I felt the tug and then, oh, yeah, it's not bad there. Ouch, ouch. ouch. Crappie number two, yeah, these are white crappie. That's cool. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, getting bigger. Dude, that's a good one. That's a good fish. No, he's not quite as big. He's probably nine inches, but uh, pretty thick, solid white crappie there. Dude, they are right there. I definitely am on them right now. Oh, that's a black crappie, I think. Short and stocky. They are down, down in there deep though. Uh, yeah, I think that's a black crappie. But look how, look how like healthy a fish that is. It's round, thick. It's just little, young. Oh yeah. That one was a little more aggressive. He just really hit it. Nice. Yep, they're there. I was gonna go for some sunfish, but I don't think I'm going to now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and fish a little bit more right here, catch any more bass or crappie. Uh, I kind of want to see what kind of sunfish are, but I'm not. I'm gonna leave them, and it's getting dark, and I got um, uh, another video to edit, so I got a little bit of work to do on my YouTube stuff. Okay. I'm trying to set the hook really easy. <laughs> wow. And then there's the tiny ones, so then we got a good range of fish in here. Well, I am now stuck in. Oh well, nope, not stuck. I was gonna end it, but I'm not yet. This guy's all beat up and tore up. But uh he's he's really ripped up, tail's gone. We're gonna try and catch a few more fish before I make myself leave. Yeah. Yup. Ooh, nice. That may be close to 10 inches long there. Man, what a little stop. A couple hours, fish on the side of the road. I gotta, I'll find out what town this is in just a minute from, I guess, the pictures, just so you know, but middle of nowhere to me because I have no idea where I'm at. Gotcha. 
There is so many little fish in there. This place, this is crazy. And, and just to think, like, I found them there, which, you know, I guess that's kind of where they should be, but what if there's that many over there in that spot that I wasn't fishing right, or down there over there? You just, it's hard to say how many fish can be in a hole sometimes. It's definitely a good one. It's got a good water flow coming in, nice deep pool. Uh, just, just a perfect place for fish to hold up, eat, live. Oh, you want it? Take it. I got you. Set the hook real. Oh, 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 oh my goodness! Holy cow! Don't come off. I didn't set the hook very hard. That's a giant. That's the biggest white crappie I've ever caught. Oh my goodness look at that thing oh we gotta get a measurement on this what a slab all right 13 inch long white crappie just about to leave cast it i'm like i want to give a few more casts maybe get a couple more i'm gonna i'm gonna throw a few more casts in there that is a slab of a crappie all right yeah i don't catch a lot of white crappie i've caught a few they got the vertical bars that's a giant This poor little Kytec was ripped up, beat up, about to fall apart. And then it ends up catching a 13, and it was like a 13 and an eighth probably inch crappie. All right, this right here is, uh, I love the spinners and muddy water. I have to throw this thing around. Um, it, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if there's a bass that hits it, or it wouldn't surprise me if there's a bass big enough to hit it for sure. Uh, if I get one, you know, it'd be just another amazing thing from like one, one time stopping and fishing at a place. But we'll see what happens. So yeah, nothing's better than getting out, especially when you're supposed to be stuck at home, getting out, doing some fishing by yourself, at a ditch, out here in, let me find out what town. Out here in Sykeston, Missouri. Uh, I don't know what to say, it was incredible. If I'd have caught a big bass or something there at the end, it would have been, been ridiculous over the top. But it, I love trying these places, and it's amazing how many times I go to a spot like this and actually end up catching fish. Perfect time of the year, early spring, fish are biting. Well, thanks so much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Had just a blast. Two, maybe two and a half hours. It's funny how just a couple little tweaks uh, made the difference between catching, you know, a lot of fish and just catching one or two. Like I started the first 30 minutes, I'd caught a couple and really nothing for 20 to 30 minutes. Started moving around, switching, trying things, getting slower, getting in there, boom, started pulling out bass. Moved over to a little other spot, boom, started catching crappie. And I mean, I wanted to catfish it and bluegill fish it. I would love to see what all is in there, but I'm not going to. I'll leave that for someone else to try. But thanks for watching. I'm gonna head on down the road and no telling where you're gonna see me fishing at next. Well, what's going on everybody? It's a great morning here in North Carolina. And today, I, I've been doing a lot of saltwater fishing here on this little trip that I'm on. And today, we're gonna do some freshwater, some brackish water. I'm meeting up with uh, Conrad and Alyssa, and uh, I've been following them for a while. They catch a lot of different multi-species. Multi they love just kind of these little creeks and streams out of the way. And it's definitely real different around here, so I definitely need some help with that. And um, I think they're gonna help me get a few new species. So let's hopefully get on some. All right, I'm starting out fishing with a good old little worm here. So we're gonna fish this spot and go to probably a few new places. And uh, I just wanna catch some fish. I've been struggling here recently. So I'll take anything. Oh, I got a fish! Hey, double! <laughs> double oh, this feels so much better. <laughs> I, I fished so much and I haven't caught much recently. A little bluegill there. Oh yes, there we go, good start. This is the spot, huh? Get you a because I was using this for trout fishing the other day. Swap this reel back and forth between this one and a little bit heavier one. Oh, there we go. 
Did you get a crappie? You did yeah. get a crappie. <laughs> Heck yeah. A little crappie there. I've only got a few. Oh yeah? Yeah. This is the very top of the same creek we were just fishing. So. Okay. Same creek, just way up. Sweet. We've caught a couple of them. I like that little first little cast right there. Cast, <laughs> a little crappie. Nice. That's cool. All right, there's number one. I like that. This is my kind of spot right here. <laughs> when, as soon as we pulled up to it, I was like, yeah, I can fish that. Where are we passing all these bridges? Yeah, I know. We will be going back to those bridges, though. Oh, man, there's some fish in there. That was a good hit there. It may have been a bluegill. He came off. There's a lot of uh, fish on it, though, aren't there? There we go. Oh, we got a warmouth. There we go. That may have been what I lost earlier. It was brownish. Was it? So I can. Yeah, up here they tend to be kind of, kind of drab colors. That's cool. There you go. Oh, we'll blue gear. Triple. There's a triple. <laughs> three different species. That's all I love. Three fish, three species. Mine's <laughs> the smallest out of all of yours. Let's see a flyer. I'm going to throw this one. Oh. Mine's smaller out of all of yours. I've caught, I think, a couple of those. Yeah. It's Not very many. You got a bluegill. Yeah. <laughs> I love these spots. It's just to think about like how many different fish could be under this tunnel. Oh, there we go. Hey, there's a flyer. That's awesome. This is my kind of fishing right here. If you didn't know this already, make sure my camera's on. I do this a lot of times and my camera's off. I'm like recording a whole bunch of stuff and like, oh. All right, that's awesome right there. Yep, another warm mouth. Oh, that's something, there's something down there, but I don't know what it is. Like, I saw his body that time. Oh, yes! Yeah, there's one. Heck yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Good job. That's awesome. Dude, that is cool. I'm, that's my first of this species. Nice. Oh, man, that is so cool. He's got the good barring on him too. Yeah, look that's at that. The dark as some of the ones we see, but is that the normal that's, size that's for a little, little area? That's a normal size. Now, that is awesome. Sometimes you'll get ones that are. Do they have teeth. Long, oh yeah, they got teeth. They're just like a little pike. Yeah, that's cool. All right, I'm gonna get a really good video of this new species. This is something that um, Conrad said I could I get a good chance to get, and that's what I want to get. It's a little red fin pickerel. I was a little ditch on the side of the road. Let's get him back in there. Oh, there you go. Oh, there's a little nicer one. Yeah. Oh, he's dark too. That's a little chunker. Nice. Same spot. Those are yep. awesome fish. Yep, red fins. They're pretty. Yeah, that's a good looking one. I like red on that. That is gorgeous. They'll move right up to the point of this thing. Where it's flowing in. Oh, another one. <laughs> These things are so cool. Man, I'd rather catch this than go to the ocean and catch something. <laughs> Man, that is awesome. I'm getting them on the trap magnet, just dropping this, dropping our lure right down in the brush, and they're just coming out the head. Yeah, look at their. You can see the teeth. These are, these are the smallest of this of this species, right? Oh my gosh, that was. Oh, that was a that. I don't know. That was holding down there for a minute. Did you see it? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that one came. I saw the side on it. That last one I had, and the big one was like right there. It's not that oh. flat. Clear. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's probably biting at it. Yep. All right, this may be a little oversized from my normal, like, you know, panfish or small size uh, setup. This is six pound nano line. And uh, I'm using a, actually using an eight pound fluorocarbon leader, something a little tougher because I know there's a lot of fish with teeth in here, but I still can throw this little trout magnet around. And this is a medium light setup. So a little heavy for some of these fish, but I know that there's possibility of anything being in these kind of 
ditches and I want to be prepared for it. There he is. Oh, yes. There's a good one. Nice. I thought I was big, but he's a lot better one. <laughs> they just start taking off with yeah. it. This line just starts going. Yeah. <laughs> nice Little trout magnet strikes it again. Look at the colors on that thing. Such a cool fish. You know, he's five, six inches long, but really fun. The worst. Oh, it's yeah. Almost always windy on the Yeah. Beach. Oh. Oh, another nice red thing. Oh, nice. Oh, oh yeah. Saved by the grass. <laughs> That's my biggest one. Look at the little thing. And just weird, we cast through it a hundred times and all of a sudden it pops up. Yeah. I can't believe I've caught four of these. I never, barely even heard of them. I've been wanting to catch one and boom, go to the right spot and they're all over the place. Slime little things. So they're probably just all tucked, tucked up in these weeds, just looking, just, just, just all over looking out and looking for something to come out. Yeah, the first one I had over here, I literally dropped like two inches from a blade of grass and it was like boop. So we, we fished this little spot right this little spillway or little uh, creek um, Bridge area and both sides of it catching fish caught my first ever uh, the redfin pickerel, which was awesome That's one of the things I really wanted to catch But we're gonna move up and try to catch some bigger fish so a little bit bigger area But this little spot here was awesome. I love this kind of fishing, but um, we got they got some more places We're gonna go to and we'll see what happens there There we go. Oh, where's the flyer? Alrighty. I'm gonna try to go for both in. So I'm gonna use this guy for some bait. These are cool looking fish though. It's a pretty one. I'd love to get one of these guys. If I can get both in, I'd be make a good video for the whole thing. Oh, there you go. Oh well, see? He's back. Give him a little bit long. The way he's hitting. Got another spot downstream for this we can try. Got a little more root bank room there. Oh, still. He's come back. <laughs> oh. Oh, he's just going that time. Oh, he had to wrap around. You got it? You on it? Oh, I got one. I got one. Yeah, he's on. Pretty good oh, oh, what is it? What is it? Oh, a big bullhead. Big old. Oh, wow. That is a big bullhead. Holy, that Holy is a cow. That is a big one. That's the biggest one I've ever seen. You got a nice one. Man. I thought it was a uh, bowfin for sure. Remember when I caught that other one? I said, "There's bigger in here." Yeah. Yeah. All right, check out this bullhead. This is the biggest one I've ever seen, and uh, he kept messing with that like, cut bait. I'm trying to get a bowfin here. We might get one. He just got one a little while ago. I probably showed that in the video, but uh, that's pretty cool. I love getting new stuff, and I think I've caught this before, probably, but definitely nothing this size. Look at the mouth on that thing. Just stuck in the. Oh no, it's barely hooked in the bottom there. Caught him in the skin. <laughs> yeah, that one's. Jeez, that one's over I want two, my bait back. That one's over two pounds. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's awesome. Gorgeous fish. Yeah. You ain't going to bit by that thing either. Get out of here, fish. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. That's a good fish. Stuff, oh man, I know it. I'm all, I'm... Get out of there. Oh. oh, he's got me stuck. Oh yeah, you can see the bubbles. Oh. You still there? I don't know. All right, we've moved to a, another spot that's supposed to be really good for bowfin, and that's one, something I wanted to get. Um, uh, Alyssa and Matt went to get some lunch, so they're gonna bring bringing that back. And I got some uh, leftover of my flyer cut up, and hopefully I can get on a bowfin because that. One I lost, broke my line, got wrapped around some logs. Hopefully I can get one in here. Oh, I'm getting a bite on that. There's one. There's fish. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Ooh, came off. That was a both in. Oh. <laughs> oh, thank you. So that All is right. what's happening. Here you go. You just grab the slice and I can take it up yeah. there and put it in the truck. Yeah, thank you. Okay, close the lid. Oh, 
Oh, there's a bowfin right in front of me. I thought I saw a swirl there earlier. He's right in front of me. Let's see if I can get him to hit this bait right here. That's a good size one too, look like. Did he take it? Oh, he's got it, he's got it. We got one, we got one. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, spit it out. That was cool. How did he jump up so fast? All right, he's swimming with Let's see if I can get him. Got him. Got him. No, I don't. That was a good one. Man. Goodness, I cannot get these guys. I'm gonna change hooks on that one too. <laughs> uh, make it look easy, why don't you? Well, I've had multiple chances today. I think I've lost five. Like 75 wins five to ten. Oh, there he is. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. No! no, I didn't have time to set the hook on that one. He took off so fast. Make it six. I lost six. That it didn't take off fast. It, I just looked and he was just going. I'm gonna look. They're you stalking you the whole time. <laughs> I'm gonna let my bell open this time. Well, I definitely had a good time out here with uh, Conrad and Alyssa and uh, his, his channel's Exploring Adventure. Adventures. But he does a lot on, on uh, Instagram where he puts a lot of different stuff on there. Um, but uh, he's gonna start uploading videos. He's gonna get it going. Gonna get it going again here. <laughs> but man, he, uh, he hooked me up on the awesome spot, uh, just catching all kinds of cool fish. I had plenty of chances to catch a bowfin. We kind of started really going for that, and I think I lost six or seven. And then the very end, I'm reeling in and just picking up my rods, and one was on it and it came off. So they were just, they were being mean to me. I think they said they want me to come back. Leave you wanting more. Yeah, so I definitely have to come back, do it again. But uh, thanks so much for watching. Go check out his channel. And uh, hopefully I got more North Carolina stuff coming up pretty soon. So I literally just finished fishing down here in Chattanooga. Oh, you like my camera shell on the truck? That's right, I can carry more stuff in there now. I just caught the biggest fish of my life, 20, almost 25 pound catfish. It was awesome. I was having a great day. We fished all day, I was super tired. It's like 7.15 right now, and I had to stop over here at Best Buy, over here behind me, back there somewhere. And um, I was like, I need to get a microphone for this camera here. So I picked up a microphone, hopefully it sounds good. And would you know it, there's a creek that flows right through here. And I looked over, saw the creek before I stopped, and I was like, nah, I don't need to fish it. Then I looked a little closer, there's little fish swimming around. So I have to fish it. I got no other option. So I'm gonna spend an hour, fish this little creek, see what's in here. I've seen some little shiners. Just wanna check it out, use some ultralight stuff. Hopefully I can catch a few things in an hour. Oh, it's kind of windy. Had to change cameras because uh, my, my uh, storage is full on the other one. Oh, whoa. what was that? There's one. Nope. Came off. Oh, there's some sunfish up in there. Yeah. Got a... Green sunfish. They live everywhere. Little green sunfish there. Mm. 
man, these things are aggressive. I don't even, is that another one? <laughs> Tiny little green sunfish using trout magnets, 164th ounce jig head, two pound line on a six and a half foot light rod. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dude, as soon as it hit the water. Green sunfish. Maybe all that's in there, but it's crazy these little ditches. It's been really dry and um, still water in here. There's a ton of shiners though. Man, they are really going after it. As soon as it hits the water, they're just attacking it. Hope people driving by don't think I'm too crazy. Boom. No, maybe those are... Oh, that's a... Uh... I think that's a hybrid cross between green sunfish and bluegill. I see these in ditches a lot. Pretty sure it's a hybrid. I don't think it's a warmouth and I don't think it's anything else. So. That's neat. Man, they are on it. As soon as it hits the water, I could probably catch 30 fish right here. Like that little guy. Little bitty green sunfish. This would have been good to use for bait today. Should have came here first before I went catfishing. Right, I'm going to try to throw it up under those tunnels. There's just a swarm of fish right here. Watch this. Let's see if they go after it. Oh. Let's see if they go after it right here. As soon as I drop it in, there's fish coming. It's not the shine. There's a lot of shiners swimming around it. They're not really attacking it. There's all kinds of fish been there. There he is. Oh, bluegill. So yeah, I think there's probably some bluegill and green sunfish in here. And uh, I, I find out, or it seems to be when they get in these little ditches and places where they can't really get out, they do crossbreed. Like that last one I just caught. I think that's I think that's right anyways. That's what I've just seen. Oh, feisty little guy here. A little bit bigger green sunfish. It's amazing what fish can live in. They can just be anywhere. Biggest one so far. Just uh, another green sunfish there. Pretty colored one though. Oh yeah, I got you. Hold on. Really nice. He's a pretty little fish. Just fun little stuff to catch. So this little stream here, it's got a little creek that's flowing. Which way is that flowing? It's actually flowing that way. And a little stream that's coming in from this tunnel. So it's like got two kind of connecting. Going, looks like it's going this way. So we'll see if it gets a little deeper down here. <laughs> Guys taking off with it and we're getting a little bit bigger in size all right a little bit, oh hold on buddy where'd you go a little bit bigger green sunfish no telling how many roads and tunnels these little uh creek flows underneath no tell how many fish are in there Oh, it's a little bit deep right here. Oh, there's a turtle. Oh, I think I see a little bit bigger fish. Oh, yeah. Whoa. 
Hold on there, buddy. Oh, there's a bigger turtle. Whoa. I about walked up on him. He's going out through there now. <laughs> oh, that's a chunky little dude. <laughs> that's funny. That's a cool looking little green sunfish. There's a bunch of fish. They're all looking at me. The turtles are coming back too. I don't think they're used to people fishing here. Turtle? I don't know what he's doing. He just keeps staring at me though. Pretty good sized turtle. Oh, he turned right into that brick. There he goes. Get back. Get back in there. Oh, there's some decent little panfish in there. I don't get snagged on a turtle here. There he is. Fat little dudes. Bunch of them, but they're healthy. This turtle just keeps staring at me. Eyeballing me. I'm going to try to cast up under there. Hopefully this turtle don't grab it. And There's a bunch of logs and stuff. Hopefully they don't get stuck on it. There's a fish. I think he's a little bit better. Yeah, the biggest one. Pretty strong little green sunfish. All right, this turtle's starting to get on my nerves. Oh, yeah, bright colored one there. Nice. 15 minutes of fishing so far. 15 minutes of fishing. Pretty good time. I definitely enjoy catching random things, seeing what's going out, what's out there, finding these turtles that won't leave me alone, catching all kinds of green sunfish. Uh, see what's down this tunnel. Oh wow, that tunnel goes a long way. It's dark all the way, and it's probably about a foot and a half water. It's a lot, it's good, pretty good amount of water. Wonder what could be growing in there. All right, I'm gonna see if this turtle will eat this thing. Oh, this turtle, he was like, keep staring at me everywhere I go. Let's see if he'll grab this uh, fish. Nope, he went back in the other hole. He goes in there, then he comes back. It's right there. Oh, he almost had it, he almost had it. Come on. Oh, grab it, stupid turtle. There you are, there you are. Oh! <laughs> Man, I hate to get in front of that thing. I hate to get hit by those pinchers. All right, maybe he'll go away. I'm glad I got that out of my system. I just had to check the little place out. I, I fished literally exactly 20 minutes, um, about 50 yards of this creek. I don't. It goes under a long tunnel that way, and goes under a tunnel, and goes in behind a fence that way, and um, just all the little stuff that could be right here in the middle of town, right in the middle of Chattanooga. Next time you got 20 minutes, go find you a little stream, get an ultralight rod. Don't matter if you look silly standing on the side of the road. Just get out there and do it and have some fun. Thanks for watching. All right, so I just got the lure. This little rooster tail is supposed to be what's gonna work. Now, what we're going for today, hopefully we'll catch one. I'll, I'll tell you what it is when we catch one. Blake's been doing the work. We've talked about catching this fish a couple years ago, or a year ago at least, and then he's put in the work. He says this is the spot where it's at. We're gonna take these little rooster tails, catch a fish that most people probably don't even know are in Georgia. And I guarantee you, 99% of the people that drive over this road where this creek's at don't know this fish lives in here, so. Hopefully we're gonna go in there and get them. I really wanna get one of these fish. They're really cool. So uh, let's get to it. <clears throat> All right, I got my little rod and I got, I do have a swivel. So I got a little barrel swivel I'm gonna put. Um, if I do, if I know I'm planning on using a rooster tail, I will put a, some kind of swivel or something. And the water is gonna be kind of dingy. So I don't think it's gonna matter to the fish. That's why we're using a bright colored one. This brighter color is really supposed to help with these fish. 
Okay, so yeah, we're pulling off on the side of the road. Got this little ditch. I fished this last year and we caught a bunch of different little fish. Well, today we're going for one that I didn't even know lived in here. But also there's really snaky and there's possibility of alligators in here. And a lot of snakes. And there's a big old leopard frog. I think that's this. Oh, he jumped away. All right, there's definitely movement already. I see a bunch of little bitty fish and a little, oh man, there's all kinds of little fish in here. What are those things? This place is loaded. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, it came off. I don't know what that was. I think it was a bass. I mean, we're gonna we'll hopefully catch a few bass, but whenever we catch the uh, desired fish, I'll let you know, war mouth. Ah, oh, it stinks down here. There's something dead down here. <laughs> Warmouth is not the fish that I'm trying to catch, but it is a cool fish. Oh. Largemouth, next cast. Dude, there's so many little largemouth in here. We fished a, a place earlier today. We went all over the place to get a few large mouth there's like so many little ones in here oh rooster tail man they love it so much every cat in this little hole yeah oh that was a cool hit. I had something swipe at it. It may have been the fish I was looking for. Hit really hard. Ah! Oh! Yes, I got him! I got it! You got him? Yes! I watched him come get it. All right, let's take a look at this fish. The mystery fish that we're after. You came on you did it. Dude, third catch. Yeah. I'm bringing over here in the shade. Yeah, bring in. Boom, here it is. Look how, look at how chubby he is. He's been eating something good. This right here is a redfin pickerel. Uh, just think, I was just thinking two weeks ago, I was up in North, in, uh, in Michigan catching pike. Well, this is a little cousin of it and uh, he doesn't get very big, but he's super aggressive. And they got the same look to him, same in the same family. If I can get the hook out, we'll take one more look. Check out this tiny little pickerel. And this is a normal size of redfin pickerel. They don't get real big, but it's such a cool fish. We fished here last year. I had no idea they were in there. Now it's a third cast. That lure makes a difference. That's what Blake said, use the a bright color rooster tail and boom. <laughs> All right, let's throw it back. Uh, I think we're gonna catch some more. That was like my third fish in a row. All right, back in the water he goes. Let's get back to some fish. Man, them things are slimy. Yep. All of them in that family are so slimy. Oh, God. That was so cool. Oh, I had another one hit. Same spot. He came out of the same spot. It came off. Same much of water in here at all, but there's so much life in these little spots. Oh, I see something sitting right there. About to catch that guy. Ah, my spinner didn't work. Like got him one too. Oh yeah, so aggressive how they how they get it. And if you put your finger in your mouth to take the uh hook out, they're gonna lay you open. Yeah, got razors in there. Mm -hmm. There we go. What is that? I got something. And it's a war mouth. Yeah. Little fat guy. He barely got hooked. Chubby little warm mouth. Oh well, it kind of goes on a little ways. Well, I caught one right there just then too. But get right here, John, and throw up that way and reel it back into that uh, little pocket right there. Oh, okay. it, ain't, it ain't six inches deep, but that's where uh, that's where I just had. Oh come on, something hit it. Oh oh, got one. Oh, oh yeah, that's a little one. He was right. Did he get back in the way? Yeah, he's right there. Yeah, no, it's not even. 
behind you right there in that little straightaway. Oh, yep, there he is. Oh, dude. That's another one. <laughs> little. Man, he hit that like he was a 10 pound fish. That is so cool. Sometimes it's the small things that make you smile. Look at how little that guy is, but he's just he's a aggressive. cool little fish. Yeah. He swallowed that so hooks too. Peach down his little. I mean, that, that creek right there ain't eight inches deep. That, there shouldn't be anything living in that area. Like, do you think that's just dead water, stagnant? There's no flow going into it. These guys are thriving. They wouldn't have it any other way. Nope, they love it. There we go. He's got him back in. Oh, that was one. Oh, there he is. I saw him shoot. Man, they were like on the bank. Yep, I saw him shoot out uh, at it and just like swipe it. Oh, that was a bigger one. That was another hit. I've gotten two hits right here. I gotta get one landed. Oh, eat it. I'm looking at one right now. I got my lure dangling in the water and he's sitting there at it. I'm gonna go back and get a different lure so I can throw in some of these other waters. This 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 ain't it ain't three three inches deep right there and he was sitting right there. Got a little warm mouth. Or is that a Warmth. Yeah. I'm gonna try to fish the, really close to the bank, just kind of jig this little lure. Because that's where all the fish seem to be. They're super, super shallow. Man, this is a, it's tough getting casts in there. And this there's I've had like at least 10 hits from those little pickerels. And um so I know my buddy Conrad Explosion Adventures catches these guys, and I've caught them out in North Carolina. But if anybody else has any ways of catching them, they know their way that works really well. I'm gonna, the rooster tail was working, but they had so many hits, they're just hitting it and coming off. So I'm gonna go down to 164th ounce jig head. And I have this bread um, horsefly mule fishing lure. It's 1.3 inches long. I feel like this is my best chance to hook some of those littler ones. I got six pound uh, leader line on here and my 6.3 rod. And um, it's almost too long in there. But let's get in there. I think we can get a couple more landed. And one of them, it looked like, a, like maybe 10 inches or so. Oh, what's that? Oh, crappie. No well, we'll add that to the count. He surprised me. He just come up out of there and hit it. Little black crappie there. He's definitely my best redfin pike hole. Oh. That I can come and consistently catch him. I got a bluegill. Right off the bank, he was real shallow too. Another species, or you haven't Yeah, now another species, so bluegill, crappie, bass, warmouth, redfin. I may have caught, if I started with this, it may have been better, I wonder. You may not have missed so many. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah just some of those, oh, there we go. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a bass. <laughs> he started diving on me. I'm used to those tiny little fish. I think they strong in here. Amazing how this is such a thriving little ecosystem right here. I know. Own. You wouldn't think that a thousand fish could live in here, but there is. There's a thousand fish that are over, you know, four to eight inches. Oh, I got a fish. <laughs> what? I was looking at my phone, dropped it down, got a bluegill. And one tree. What? Well, we're at another uh, high traffic area, right? Another another prime fishing spot. There can't be fish in there. I already see all kinds of little sunfish in there. It's, there's, this water doesn't even connect anything. Let's see what we can get out of here. Oh, what are they doing? They're lighter mating. Lighter mating. I got some little bites. No, one of them 
of them's eating something and the other one's trying to uh, get it. Oh, he took it off. He took off with it. I saw him. Well, that first place we fished had all kinds of fish. There were so many in there. And we hit a couple other spots. There's fish in here, but I can't get these to bite. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's video. And uh, I was wanting to get a few more of those breadfin pickerel. I think they're really cool fish. And it's one of those things I didn't even know they were here, like in this area. But um, it's and, and they're in the weirdest places. Like would, you wouldn't even think to cast in spots like that. So now I'm like, we're casting every which way, which that's what I like to do anyways. But they, those things back there, they were in like three inches of water where I didn't think anything would be. And they were coming out like a rocket and having all kinds of little hits. I wish you could see it on camera, but it was all these fish that were coming out and nailing my uh, spinner bait or other lures, but just not getting hooked up. So thanks for watching. Awesome out of time out here and just fishing on the side of the road, catching some awesome little fish in South Georgia. Well, I'm going to do some fishing below the spillway here um, in Oolaga, Oklahoma. I think it's where I'm at. And um, there's a bunch of people, after, over 25 people already out here fishing um, down here. It looks like they're catching striped bass and stuff like that. So, and a lot of people are catching them. So hopefully I can get one. Um, I came out yesterday and saw two or three people reel in one in like five minutes. So I'm going to see what I can do. Hopefully get one in. Are those striped bass or hybrids? Oh, that's a hybrid. The hybrids? Okay. All right. Well, I made it down these rough rocks. There's a lot of people down there fishing, and there's a guy down there living. They got a sh two stringers full. They got like 15 fish they're carrying out. These guys down there. So, uh, let's see if I can figure out what they're biting on, if I can get a few in. But it looks like people are definitely catching fish. guy leaving with about four or five I've been here 40 minutes I've only seen one person catch a fish I've seen several leave you know they probably came here early in the morning where I got here kind of later well uh, after fishing a couple hours there we got lunch then I got a recommendation uh, from a local guy who lives in the area and he sent me a couple creeks to check out so I'm at one of them right over here off the highway and we're gonna go take a look just see what we can get out of it. Oh. oh wow, I got something already. I saw, it didn't look like there was anything there. All of a sudden a bunch of fish just merged on my lure. They look little, but let's see what we got. Oh, big green sunfish. Little swim bait. Nice guy, look like a big old mouth on him. Now the water's actually deeper than it looks from up top. All right, there's one. I wanna see what's on the other side of that tunnel. All right, we're gonna go check out through these tunnels. See if there's maybe a deep hole on the other side where it goes under the, I think it's the interstate right here, so. Oh, dude, it looks, it's like a spillway going into a deep spot right here. Let's see. I can't see into it. I can't really see into it, so I'm gonna stand back. Oh, oh, cast down. The water looks clear. If there's fish, they ought to be right here at the spillway. What? Oh, I did get a hit. Wasn't something huge, though. This is a weird little spot. I don't know if I can get access over there. I'm gonna try to drive around. I definitely can't get it from here. But there's a lot of water and, and some good water flow coming into it. So it's like a ought to be a really healthy area with some which could hold anything. Well, this is uh, very odd. I can't believe I couldn't get one fish out of this area. I saw a couple bass over here on this wall. Uh, they didn't seem interested. I thought one of them might hit the lure, but I don't think it really did. Um, I guess I'm gonna go back under the interstate and fish over there for a little bit, and then try to find a way to drive around where I can get down there and fish that end of it. They're hammering this little lure.
Another green sunfish. They're really aggressive up here. Well, my camera wasn't on, just caught two bass. Went out of this little spillway, went out up there, got up there, just stopped to the fish. Um, they were about three quarter pounds, and uh, there's a lot of water, it's actually really cool. But um, I'm gonna keep on going, looks like you keep on going downstream, hopefully get a few more. All right, let's get back to fishing. I hate that I lost the first two, but this little, this little uh, spillway is really cool. That's where I walked to over there. Caught one bass and a green sunfish down there. Big deep pool. Then it drops into here and I caught one bass down here. Then another big deep pool and it looks like it drops again. So we're going to keep on following it down and hopefully picking up fish the whole way. Not a super amount of bass. A lot of green sunfish. Here it comes, here it comes. Come on. Gotcha. The first two I caught were a little bit bigger than this. But um, the, they were, uh, yeah, a little bit bigger, but not too much bigger, just nice large mouth. Oh, that's cool. It's a cool little place here. Oh, oh, there he is. Oh, it's a little one. What is it? Green sunfish? Probably. Wait, wait. Yep. So whenever there's a ton of green sunfish like this, I know that there's not a super amount of other species in here because these kind of guys will dominate areas where there's not a lot of other species. If there's a lot of bluegill and bass, there wouldn't be quite as many as these. And I've seen a ton of these. All right, this next drop here doesn't have a deep pool down in it. So it's just water's all spread out. But uh, I'll probably go downstream some and kind of see if there's another spot. It's got a good amount of water flow. All right, well, there's the interstate. It looks like there might be a deep hole, but it looks really spread out. But it looks a little bit deeper over here on this side where this creek comes in. Something just swam off right there. I think we can find a few more fish. Oh yeah, there's one. Little fish. What is it? Oh, green sunfish. That's a big one. They really thrive good in these kind of little urban creeks. Just concrete creeks here. Oh, falling. That's a green sunfish. Oh, this looks good here. Definitely could be some good fish. It's crazy what, you know, you go over the interstate and you look at these places, you really don't even see them go so fast. Oh, oh, got one. All right, a little largemouth. I bet there's not, well, that's not a bad little fish. There's probably not just loaded with fish in here. The way the water looks, it's, it's you know, it's kind of got to pick where they would live. A little shallow area, then a nice little deep area, but nice, another little largemouth. Underneath the interstate here. Oh, there's a fish. <laughs> Man, these green stuff are so aggressive. They really got a they really got a good mouth on them. They can eat a lot of different a lot of different baits. Another one. They really load up at this spillway for the green sunfish, the bigger guys anyways. That water is really not that deep out there and it looks like it really spreads out wide to hold a lot of water when it rains. So I don't think there's that many deep holes. Probably got to really work for them. This little spot right here, got the water flowing in. Got a bass and a couple green sunfish. There we go. 
was that this little bass came back down to where I saw those bass earlier. And that's a little one of them. Man, they don't give up though. Well, actually, a little bit bigger than I thought. Not a bad little bass, a little large bass. Got some kind of scar still on top of his head there. All right, well, let's hit this spot one more time up here. Maybe get something else. Oh, I see a shopping cart. It's always a great spot for some fish to be hanging out. Oh. Wow. That's a jet. Dude, that was crazy. First one was the lowest. That one's that one ain't as low. I think the airport's right over there, but oh, that was crazy. Oh, I got one. I'm trying to set the hook real easy. The way he get it in his mouth. Yeah, I thought I saw some over there. Oh, that's a good one. Another jet. I guess they're jet. Probably military. Hey, wow, probably military or something, I'd say. Um, another green sunfish. I thought I saw a bunch of fish hanging out there. I think it's a bunch of these. Whoa, whoa. Gotcha. What is that? Whoa, my! I caught a little bass out of this same ditch earlier. That, is that a bluegill? That looks like a regular bluegill and he just swallowed the Helgramite, which it's a pretty big bite for a bluegill. Open your mouth. That's a pretty good sized bluegill. He's really round, but a big mouth on him for that guy, nice. This tunnel I uh, was fishing, I mean, I don't know where it runs. It could run for, you know, they could just all be connected to go anywhere. No telling what could be coming through at some point or living up in there. Just, I love the exploration and just uncertainty of having a place like this. You just don't know what's in there. Well, what just a cool place to, to fish and explore, hike around, have some fun. Started out fishing about 30 minutes away in the spillway for a couple hours. Got one fish. You know, yeah, I could have caught a bigger fish there, but I was just getting bored. Ended up coming here, found there, you know, I was told about this creek from a friend. He said, hey, go check, you know, here's a, here's a spot to check out. I just started exploring it and just, you know, I spent a couple hours here, had way more fun, caught a bunch of little fish. This is the kind of place where there could be a giant fish in there at some points with the flooding up and down. And sometimes you could really have a hard time fishing. Too bad it was only like 55 degrees out today, but the fish were pretty active. So I, I'd say that went pretty well. All right, well, thanks for watching. I had fun time exploring out here, and um, I, I encourage, I do these kind of fishing trips. I hope it encourages other people to do this kind of stuff. Now, you gotta be responsible, be careful where you go, but it's fun to go explore, especially like, you know, right in the middle of town, like here in Tulsa. Um, just in the middle of town where these, you know, water runs through here. I'm sure some people know about this place, but. Most people are gonna drive right past and never even think about catching some fish and having a good time. Thanks for watching.
So, I'm in uh, Oklahoma, just outside of Tulsa, Oklahoma, visiting my sister. I stopped by this little ditch. Um, I brought my fishing stuff. Wasn't really sure how much time I'm gonna have to fish. Stopped by this little ditch, caught two little bass, saw all kinds of sunfish and a couple gar in it. Don't really know what's in here, but it looks like there could be all kinds of fish. So I got some fishing stuff with me, a bucket to get some bluegill and uh, maybe use for bait fish. And it's about six o'clock right now. I'm supposed to be eating supper here in a little bit. So I'll try to get a couple hours in of fishing. Dude, look at all the fish sitting around. As soon as I walk up to this place, there's like sunfish, bluegill going everywhere, all kinds of them. You can barely see them, but the water is real shallow. So they can see me walking up easy. So I'm going to just fish down this ditch, down to the end down there, and see what I can catch. I'm gonna start out with just my light action pole, trying to catch some sunfish. There's just fish, little fish going every which way. And when I was casting with my little Helgramite earlier, I was getting all kinds of bites. Oh, there's my first one. First fish, first catch. A red ear, red ear sunfish. All right, well, uh, I can tell they're like some kind of sunfish. I don't know if they're bluegill, but that's a red ear there. I'm gonna save a few of them. See what's right here. As soon as I dropped it in there, fish were biting on it. There's, oh, came off. There's one. As soon as it dropped it in there, they're on it. Now, that's a bluegill, but it looks a little different than what I'm used to. Uh, I guess he looks about right. He looks kind of beat up though, and real thin. Another bluegill, they're all real thin. They must be trapped in here somehow. They're really, really thin fish. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, a nice fish. Is that a red ear? I don't know, that one's awfully big and wide. He's too big, I'm not keeping that guy. I think it's a red ear, he looks kinda, I think all the fish in here maybe a little crossbreed or just kinda look a little different because they've been holding up in there in this ditch. There's definitely tons of sunfish in here. There's a good one. Um, let's see, what is this one? That's a red ear, no. That's a war mouth. Looks like a red ear, but his mouth's big. That's a war mouth. So bluegill, red ear, war mouth. Oh, oh, there's a bass. <laughs> nice. A decent little bass. I caught two earlier and um, off the Helgramite. So I know there's bass in here too. A right, little, little skinny bass, but that's pretty cool. There's another guy. There's, it's so mossy in here. And uh, the water's really not that deep, but I gotta find the open areas. Uh, I think that's a red ear. Man, look how thin these guys are. I might try to catch these, take them to a pond or something. There's fish going everywhere whenever I walk around. They just all start scooting. They'll tell them what's under that bridge there. We're about to check it out. There's a good little fish. What? What is it? Oh man, look at that bass. No way. 
That's a good bass. All right, hold on there, hold on. Oh, please don't come off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to take it easy. I got four pound line. I got a little uh, trout magnet hook. I don't know how bad he's hook, hooked in there, but that's a pretty good bass. Nice, come on fish, come on. All right, no giant, but a nice bass to catch. Dude. <laughs> That's what I like finding. Now he's not no huge. He's a pound and a half probably. He's he's pretty healthy looking. It's a good fish. All right, this little deep hole down here, no telling what is really in here. So I'm gonna really try to do exploring and try a few lures out, try a few different things. Hopefully we can catch some really interesting stuff. There's a little guy. No little bluegill. There's a little fish. A little bluegill looking. Or uh, red ear maybe. Oh, just a bucket. Oh wait, hold on. There's all kinds of little bluegill right here. There's like a ton of little sunfish hanging out right there, like that. I wonder if there's any more bigger fish in there. There's got to be. Oh, hit the pole. Dude, every cast over here is gonna get a fish, I think. Now that one looks healthy. That's a good looking bluegill there. It's down here in the deeper part. All right, let's try to go. Well, there's a little ways up under there. I see a little sunfish. There's something. Yep. Nice, these are healthy right here. Or look, healthier anyways. Healthier bluegill. Yeah, there. There's plenty of little ones. There's so many little bluegill. I can't believe it. This this ditch right here. I don't know what the other side goes to. I, I, it's got to connect to uh, a pond or something bigger to have all these different types of fish in here. I guess a creek or something when it floods, maybe. What we got little guy. These, there's just so many sunfish over there hanging out. As soon as it hits the water, they're, they're just hammering it. This guy, I'm actually gonna use him for bait. All right, throwing this out there. Just gonna let it sit while I pick up my other rod and mess around. I don't know what is in here or what possibly could be in here. So I'm just gonna leave this sitting. There's a fish. Nope, just another bluegill. I was trying to change up a few lures. Haven't had really anything else hit or see any signs of anything else right now or any more bass. Oh, a little muskrat right there. A little muskrat just came swimming through. But um, I can catch sunfish all day, but uh, I couldn't find those gar again and I haven't got any bites on my I've got my own line right there. I haven't got any bites on my um, cut up bluegill, so I think I'm gonna see if I can try to find, if I can get access to the other side of this tunnel or not. I don't know, but I'm gonna drive around and see if I can. Dude, something is really hammering. I got it. Nope, I don't got it. Something really hammering this wacky rig. Oh, I got it that time, I think. What is it? 
I came up to the very start of this thing. And get out of there. Whoa! That's a green sunfish. That thing's a giant. Look how big that guy is. Big old green sunfish. Man, that's one of the what's one of the biggest ones I've ever caught, I think. I think I've caught one or two. A little bit bigger, but that's a big old green sunfish. There's a little guy. Probably a bunch of little sunfish up here too. Yep, bluegill. Sorry, this whole ditch is just full of bluegill. There's gotta be hundreds and hundreds of different sunfish in here. I got something? I don't know if I got one or not. Oh, yes. Look at that chunk of warmouth. And that's a big warmouth. I've caught my, close to my biggest green sunfish and close to my biggest warmouth ever caught. This little place is very diverse. It's crazy what you can just find on the side of the road sometimes. Just another exciting time fishing some ditches. Um, it was pretty cool. Like I said, it's the first time I've ever been here in my life. I just pulled over, caught, saw, saw a few fish, caught a couple, came back with my fishing poles, probably caught 30 fish. I spent maybe two hours here. Uh, this side over here was just loaded. I was just catching fish like crazy. Went to the other side and was barely getting anything. Just got a few bites, caught a few fish from it. But it definitely looks like it's, uh, it's water is just locked off from everything else. It's probably something when it floods. But there was all kinds of gar in there and i'm pretty sure i saw a large mouth that was probably three to four pounds on the other side but you never know what you're gonna find i love just getting to little spots like this just having a good time fishing them now i gotta get back home to my sister's house uh, she made some supper so i'm kind of hungry to eat <laughs>